let's say you currently have a job that you hate and you say that is your problem your job that you hate that's draining you and that's causing you to just be in this negative hateful state where you hate everything else and you take it all out on everybody else around you it causes you too much stress causing another problem it's hard for you to concentrate at your job or even do anything because you hate it so much it's impossible for you to concentrate at work so it's impossible for you to concentrate anywhere else in your life my advice to you will be well then do something about it take action like quit look for another job pursue your dreams whatever you want to do in life but then you might think that will be even harder i'm gonna have to start all over again your job is you know it's a, it's a stable job whatever whatever finding all these excuses because you think it's going to be harder which it might be harder but you choose your own type of hard are you going to struggle every day with the job that you hate or are you going to struggle every day with doing something that you love think about that you're just too comfortable in whatever the fuck it is that you're comfortable in right now that's a problem you're the problem you're scared of failing another problem which is you're the problem like you that's that's your problem and it goes back to you you're the problem because you are scared to take risks you are scared to fail well fix that like why are you scared because you're thinking negatively about yourself because other people are telling you that you're going to fail that you are not going to make it that stays in your head and you think about that and it builds this problem inside of you you're already a whole problem and you're building all these little problems inside of you and those people that are telling you that you're going to fail that don't believe in you even though you're not really trying to prove anything to them or you might be if you don't succeed then you're thinking about that you're going to disappoint them dude fuck others do what you want to do think for yourself you're the problem again you're putting others before you others beliefs before you what they are believing about you they become your beliefs their fears become your fears you're probably in a toxic relationship that you know is toxic it's draining you and you think that's your problem because you're unhappy in that relationship you're just unhappy in all areas of your life you take you can't confront your partner you take it out on other people around you that's not the problem your relationship is not the problem you are the fucking problem not even your partner is the problem you're the problem for allowing yourself to go through that for allowing them to talk down on you for allowing them to mistreat you and to not love you the way that you deserve to be loved you're comfortable there in that relationship you think it's going to be hard without them probably because they are telling you that it's going to be hard without them they're telling you you're not going to make it without them and that lowers your confidence in yourself you start doubting yourself you might want to leave that toxic relationship but then in your mind you're like fuck their beliefs become your beliefs you start to agree with them that you won't be able to make it without them you won't be able to do shit without them you're so used to being with them you depend on them too much for what for them to mistreat you for them to not love you for them to treat you like shit for them to drain your energy for them to be just toxic and negative for you to be unhappy it's not worth it and then all these things that i just talked about a lot of them lead to substance abuse alcohol abuse whatever the fuck it is because you're under all this stress you're unhappy and what do you want to do what's the easiest thing to do to escape to escape through alcohol to escape through drugs i was never in a relationship so i can't really like speak on it but i've seen a lot you know what i'm saying and people always talking about how they're unhappy and i'm like well why the fuck are you with this person then like for what i was in a job i was in a couple jobs that i didn't like and what would i do go out because uh work is too stressful i hate it this and that it's not fun that is not the only way you have to take risks in life 
if you really want to do something do it and have a positive mindset make a fucking plan a strategy how are you going to get there how how are you going to level up in life how are you going to take yourself to the next level because nobody is going to help you nobody's going to get you to that next level nobody's going to tell you what to do you have to figure it out on your own it can be hard but it's fun also and that's where you learn the most don't be scared of failing all these things you know just being unhappy and so miserable it just builds up all these things inside of you stress anxiety depression and you go to drugs and then when you start using them and depending on them you say that's the problem you're just finding things to blame instead of yourself like you're the problem you are the problem not the alcohol not the drugs not the whatever addiction it is that you have that is not the problem you are the problem it all goes back to you like you think life is hard life is fucking hard you know what i'm saying life is hard and by drinking or, or doing any drug it's not going to get less hard you know what i'm saying it's just going to get harder you're just escaping and escaping and escaping life is gonna get harder because once you face it you're gonna be like yo what the fuck is this you're just creating a bigger problem for yourself you're creating more little problems for yourself you're creating more problems than your main problem which is you yes there's problems but it still all leads back to you your choices your habits lead you to a certain type of lifestyle okay the people you surround yourself your mindset what you think about yourself what you say to yourself everything that you do today is going to affect you tomorrow so what choices are you making what are you saying what are you doing what are your habits like sit down with yourself and see if you keep doing this this and that where is that going to lead you do you want that do you truly want that no all right then it's time to fucking switch shit up it's time to change shit it's time to let things go let people go let habits go and it's time to probably just chill alone you know get to know yourself and do you for a cool minute stop looking for friends for people people that will love you it will all come to you you become the person like you would want to attract you're not going to find the solution through alcohol through drugs through anything else you are the solution i thought alcohol was my problem and it led to a bigger problem cocaine i blamed it on that you know i said my life is horrible because this and that but i still wasn't even doing nothing about it you know it's not like the alcohol is telling me to use it to drink it you know i was choosing to drink it i was blaming the alcohol this and that but yet i was still there i had to accept that i was the problem i was the one choosing the alcohol nobody else was choosing it for me either nobody was telling me here you need to drink and i thought okay well if i fix it that will fix my problems it's a big part in it but you still have to work on you because it's not just about you know like me i was consuming the alcohol okay but what else am i consuming you know you consume other foods you consume other drinks you consume what you know what you watch what you're listening to all of those things my belief system my mindset everything i had to fix everything it was i had to go deep you know you have to go deep and you have to lay out all your problems all your little problems and fix them work towards healing you know you gotta heal it wasn't just that little thing i had to fix and everything will be fixed no i had to go in and fix everything fix all of me it's literally you keeping yourself from leveling up from improving in life from becoming the best version of yourself i was drinking way too much and i would say that's the problem you might say that's the problem alcohol is a problem in your life it goes way more than that it's way deep more than that like why are you drinking why do you go to alcohol i don't know what your reason is think about that right now write it down what makes you go to alcohol what feelings something triggers you and you go to alcohol you start getting these thoughts you go to alcohol you start getting these feelings you go to alcohol why is it that you are going to alcohol or to any certain drugs or any addiction any bad habit whatever it is write it down you have to face yourself you're the biggest problem like all of you all those little problems cause a huge problem within you like you are the problem you have to face all those little problems instead of running away from them instead of putting them to the side they're just going to become bigger problems in the long run okay you want to fix them now before they get even worse 
And how are you going to fix them? I can't tell you exactly how to fix them because I'm not sure what problem it is that you have. But I know for me, with trauma and just like all my feelings, you know, emotional trauma, meditating really helped me a lot. Journaling as well. I always talk about those things because you guys, they have helped me out so much. And there's just different exercises I've done. There's so many different exercises, you guys. Do your research. Read books on healing, on trauma, on whatever specific issue that you have. And try out different exercises. You know, there's tons of exercises I've tried. And I stuck to the ones that really helped me the most. What helped me become at peace with myself. You have to... Forgive yourself and forgive everybody else around you for whatever they did to you. That's the main thing. And I know I struggled with that. And there was so many exercises I did for that. Because it was just so hard for me to forgive people because I was so angry. And I just, I thought me forgiving them made it seem okay for what they did. But it, it doesn't. It doesn't make it okay for them for what they did i just and i don't forgive them for them i forgive them for me and you're not forgiving them like in person most of the time because they're not going to apologize you just forgive them you know in your heart and you you have to mean it and you have to do it a couple times in order for you to really forgive them and you're doing it for you remember that you are doing it for you for your peace you're literally detaching yourself from them completely when you forgive them you forgive them and you fucking let them go okay like that's one thing i really did struggle with (laughs) that was one of my problems that was why i couldn't move on at a certain point in my life because i was holding on to the past i was holding on to them i had to let all that go in order for the new to come in in order to let positivity inside of me inside of my life i had to let go of all that negativity you just have to let it go and just dude you feel it i felt the energy i just felt like so clear and i felt at peace it just feels great 